Bro's about to open. I'm gonna hold them at the door. Oh my goodness. No way do we just clear that whole thing. That is ridiculous. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's alright. Yo guys, what is up? Max in this video and today we're going over my Cyclone Trickster build that just blows through Challenge Tier 15 golden content just as fast as my shotgun build. I didn't think it was possible. I didn't think we'd get to this point. Uh, this build demolishes Eye of the Storm solo. It does all of the content just as fast as a firepower build. It needs a ton of gear, and I've learned a ton about how to scale my anomaly power best. So even if you're not going into a cyclone build, I promise you, you'll probably learn something about making an anomaly build through this. We've got a lot to talk about. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And with that, guys, let's get right into it. All right, guys, so let's talk about this build. Now, building an anomaly-based character is going to take a lot of work, and there's a few essential pieces of gear that you need to have for this and the first essential piece or pieces are the edge of time set now i have all of the pieces of edge of time and i've broken them down put their mods elsewhere but the edge of time set is a must-have for this build because it's going to boost temporal blade by 100 percent and cyclone slice by 100 percent now almost all of the tier 3 mods on this set are really strong except for the reflect one the reflect just doesn't work it does hardly any damage and is not worth your mod slot you're just much better off getting damage reduction now the rolls for your gear, you're going to be looking for anomaly power, cooldown reduction, and skill life leech. And if you can get this full set and some of the mods that I'm going to be talking about, you're going to be doing really, really well. Now, one of the biggest tips and things that I learned that took my damage from here to here was this gun. And I wanted to talk about this gun because this is the best anomaly-based weapon in the game, the Death Shield. And regardless of what build you're making, if you're going anomaly, you need this. And the reason you need this is because of Fortress. Receive up to a 43% damage bonus based on your armor. Now, this is not based off of the armor you can get from skills. It is just based off of your actual armor that you have on your character, okay? But it's going to apply to everything. This applies to your anomaly-based skills. It applies to your melee. It applies to everything. And... Getting this 43% damage bonus based on your armor is a must-have for anomaly-based builds because it is going to pump your damage up by so much. And it is the only weapon, besides like inflicting vulnerable, that you can really actually increase the damage of your skills. So Fortress is a must-have. We're going to go over the other really good mods in a second, but I just want to go over the skill tree uh, and the, um, the abilities. So... First off, Temporal Blade. This is our big damage dealer. I've hit, uh, I think, 4 million damage with Temporal Blade with the right scenario. And doing this build is kind of like playing like a fighting game where you need to do a bunch of setup and then you swing your Temporal Blade. Your Temporal Blade is going to do ridiculous damage with Venator's Knife. We're doing double damage. This is how we're getting 2 mil, 3 mil damage easily. As you hit with the Venator's Knife, it's going to increase your damage. Then you throw out two Temporal Blades and then you go into your Cyclone Slice. All of this is just winding up damage for your Cyclone Slice and uh, that will hit like crazy. Now this is the skill tree I went with. Um... First off, I didn't go Shadows Embrace because I don't really care about my weapon damage. Uh, we're just, our cooldowns are so low that you're never not going to have an ability to use. Uh, I promise you. Uh, with the, the gear, if you're going for gear with all cooldown on it, I never am missing my abilities. So I didn't really care for my weapons. I'm using just the Death Shield kind of to hold while I'm spinning. But we're going for Anomaly Power, Resistance Piercing, Anomaly Power, Anomaly Power, Anomaly Power. This Anomaly Sight thing is a must-have. For five seconds, you're going to boost your Anomaly Power by 30%. You can weave this in as much as you can, and because you're going to be meleeing a lot while you're in between your combos, it's just worthwhile to get Inflict Weakness because it's a 30% debuff. This build originally struggled with survivability, but I'll show you guys how to become very survivable. But 
having a melee hit inflicting weakness is just going to basically take you take 30 percent less damage because enemies do less than uh do 30 percent less damage anomaly power deception counter shield this with our venators is our setup so we get this 50 percent damage increase after we throw the venators and then we're going to hit with our blade with that 50 percent that's super super strong more resistance piercing anomaly power skill leech more anomaly power anomaly power decrease the cooldown of your damage skills uh, i'm mainly here for this when your damage skill ends increase your anomaly power and what i was saying before is we throw the venators we double slash this is our 50 percent for 10 seconds after we double slash our damage skills ends now we have a hundred percent damage for our cyclone which is why we can get our cyclone hitting 160 170 per rotation uh 170k which is really really good damage and we're also getting this at the end of any damage skill increase your armor piercing and resistance piercing so we're even more able to just go into cyclone and destroy things shielded readiness because we've got a ton of skill leech we're able to stay alive our skill leech will keep us up but when we're killing things we're gaining shield and our shield is going to be a lot of our tankiness as well and then for each enemy in close range your anomaly power is increased by 10 percent big damage bonus there now in terms of mods there's a few things uh that you need and honestly if you can get the whole edge of time set you're gonna be cooking but the boots and the gloves roll with max health instead of um anomaly power so i switch those things out the biggest things that helped me with this build pump up our damage is first off captain hunter captain hunter is i think a must-have on pretty much every build uh elites are everywhere and getting 25 percent increased damage against them is huge this allowed me to one spin any elite uh if there's a brood mother or any sort of elite on the battlefield i can one spin them easily uh, if not just totally shred them Next up, Temporal Blade boost your armor by 50% for each affected enemy. I'm getting double slashes, so I'm boosting my armor by 50% for each enemy. I'm typically hitting at least four, and I'm double stacking with this. This makes us incredibly tanky. We're getting more damage in our Cyclone. Increase our skill damage by 21k there. Next up, Ultimate Duration. This is so nice. Because you're unable to die in Cyclone Spin, uh, as long as you're hitting things, you're going to be leeching from them. And we're so tanky while we're in Cyclone Slice with things like Grand Bastion and all of the setup of our um, of our slashes before. We're Cyclone Slicing for 15 seconds. By the time you come out of Cyclone Slice, all of your abilities will be off of cooldown, which means that you can go into your full rotation again. This is what I was talking about. You're never waiting for abilities. Next up, this was huge for me. And uh, this comes from a helmet for the Trickster. I forget what it's called. Hopefully I show an image of it. But Power Assimilation boosts your Anomaly Power by 11k for each Elite present on the battlefield. This is probably the best Anomaly-based Tier 3 mod in the game. Um, this allowed my damage to just skyrocket, especially when there's a ton of Elites around me. The amount of damage that you can get from this one mod alone is amazing. And then next up, move groove. Moving increase your anomaly power by 9k and firepower by 12k. You could sub this out for anything that you want, whether you want more damage, uh, give uh, your temporal blade another 53k damage, or whatever. I just liked the consistency of move groove. There are some tier 3 mods that like revolve around you killing an enemy with a critical or shooting an enemy with a critical. I didn't want to do that. I, I don't like having to use my weapons on this build. I basically just use the juggler uh, for scrap grenades for long range kills of vulnerability, but I'm mainly using the death shield to just pop into fortress and kill things. And then emergency stance. Now, emergency stance is currently bugged. Uh, this skill, whenever you drop below 30% health, you get golem. After that, Golem stays active. Even though you don't visually see the rock body on you, you now have Golem damage reduction for the rest of your expedition, making this pretty much a must-have mod on any character. Emergency Stance, Captain Hunter, and the uh, Power Assimilation are the mods that allowed me to basically just cheese all the content in this game with this build. And these are hard to get Tier 3 mods, but... Anomaly builds need better gear and better things. Uh, luckily, all of these edge times roll pretty perfect. Anomaly power, cooldown reduction, and skill life leech on all of them. This just allows me to uh, not have to worry about anything else. And then I grabbed pretty good boots and pretty good gloves. And yeah, the rotation for this build and this setup is, at the moment, 
I'm using the juggler. Juggler shoots grenades right now. Mine's, my gun's bugged, but I'll shoot a grenade. Uh, does some AOE damage, but mainly using this just for the vulnerable and the scrap. As soon as I have them vulnerable, I switch to my death shield. Uh, I could put vulnerable on this and then not have to switch, but um, punch, slash, slash, uh, or sorry, I messed it up. Uh, shoot, vulnerable, punch, banditors, slash, slash, spin, and uh, you will just demolish elites. You demolish elites, uh, your survivability is insane, and it, even even areas with people with guns, uh, you can do, go through. Now, this is an end, end game build. Uh, I recommend using my trickster shotgun build to farm for the gear to be able to do this, but I've had so much fun playing with this. I'm going to leave you guys with a little bit of footage at the end of the video so you can see uh, what this build is in action or capable of in action and if you guys have any questions or want to see me using this build uh twitch.tv slash moxie i'm always over there streaming this game i will catch you guys in the next one take care guys peace I was putting in the